It's a beautiful day in the town of Anaganish, and we've shown you a lot of great things to do in and around the county, but let's show you the town today. So I've brought you here to my favorite place, my second home, St. Francis Xavier University. Home of the X-Ring, great place. I've been searching, trying to see what it is I could find. While wandering the campus of St. Francis Xavier, be sure to stop and check out the Cody International Institute. They've got a couple of neat things there, like an interactive video wall and a large photo mosaic of Moses Cody, the founder of the Antigonish movement. Another great part of the Santa Fe campus is the Bauer Theater. Now this is the local theater on campus, it's also the local theater in town. And every year there's a thing called Festival Antigonish. And Festival Antigonish puts on a number of small shows throughout the duration of the summer that you can come down and check out for a nominal price. The tickets aren't that expensive and it's a good time and they're great actors and great shows. Now don't let the relative tranquility of this campus fool you. In about a week's time, our frosh will be moving in and the students will be back on campus. And at that time, this campus just explodes with energy. St. Francis Xavier University has consistently received top marks for student experience, and I think you can see why. Next on the walking tour is a little shopping on Main Street in beautiful downtown Anaganish. So for a walking tour of Anaganish, you need your essential supplies, and that's coffee. And for that, we're coming to the Tall and Small Cafe, which is a great coffee shop in town, one of my favorites. Now I've got lots of toys to play with girls. Not only does the Tall and Small have great coffee, they also offer up their walls for local artists and also offer performing space for local musicians. So when you come to town, be sure to check out what's happening here. Continuing our, our walk down Main Street, you're going to find a lot of great little shops and great little places. One of the best shops on the street is the Maiden Nova Scotia store. Now, shock of all shocks, it's a store that features things made in Nova Scotia. But this shop also has a particular focus on things that are made and produced within the county of Anaganish. It's a great shop, let's go check it out. Hi, Hello. how are you today? Not too bad. Let's go. Have I'm Dan. Hi Dan, nice to meet you. I'm Anna. Hi, have Anna. you been in the store before? Never. You haven't? Well, no. welcome to the Made in Nova Scotia store. I'm guessing everything's made in Nova Scotia. You're pretty smart, nothing gets by you. <laughs> Actually, we have over 50 artisans represented here in our store. Mm -hmm. Everything's made locally. We only have about four or five that charge tax, so almost everything's tax free. Oh, I can't imagine anyone complaining about that. We never get a, we never ever get a complaint about that. Anna, displaying typical Nova Scotian hospitality, is more than willing to take you throughout the store and show you all of the products and give you a little bit of the story about the artisans behind them. Now, in this shop, you can find everything from CDs produced by local artists to a local chutney that's got some serious kick. Once more to the breach, dear friends. Main Street. Now, Main Street in Antigonish is beautiful. Uh, they've actually won a number of awards from the communities in Bloom, and they've got a ton of great little interesting shops from odds and ends to bookstores to great restaurants, great places to stop, grab an ice cream or a cup of coffee. Come on down. So if you're walking down Main Street, you want to keep going all the way to the end, otherwise you might miss a few great things. And one of those big things is the Lightsome Gallery. Now, it's a beautiful gallery full of a lot of Nova Scotian art specializing in original Nova Scotian pieces. So definitely come down and check it out. Final stop on our walking tour of Anaganish is Columbus Field. Now you may remember this from the Highland Games videos, but there's a lot more to the Columbus Field than just the field. It's a great place to stop at the end of the day or be active if you want. We've got tennis courts, there's a baseball diamond, there's a soccer field, and there's even a water park for the kids.